Hi, I'm Phyllis from SouthernFrugal.com. Well, we're going to fix a pork tenderloin. Now, I want to show you what it looks like. Now, it says on there it's two pieces. I'm not sure what that means. I never got one that says two pieces, so we're just going to find out. Now, my intention is to cook the whole thing, and hopefully we will get four meals out of this for two people. So, let's open. <clears throat> now, I'm not going to wash the meat. I, I do wash chicken, I'll have to tell you, but I don't wash pork or beef. Now, this is enhanced with some kind of marinade of some kind. This is self basting and all that. So, what I'm thinking is this might be actually two tenderloins. Yes, that's exactly what it is. So that would mean it's the whole long tenderloin. So I'm just going to cut a little of that fat off. Of course, you want to leave some on there for the taste. Yeah, so it's in two pieces. All right, so what we're going to do is roll this in flour, and then we're going to brown it, and then we're going to cook it in the oven. All right, so this is a lot of meat. I'm just going to roll that in flour. I'm not going to put any salt on it or anything. Now, uh, I use a garbage, I'm not a garbage, but a grocery store bag. I just turn it inside out. I don't wash the meat because obviously all the heat would kill any bacteria anyway. And it doesn't make a mess. Yeah, this was a lot of meat. So almost three pounds. So I think this is the whole tenderloin really cut in half. So I've got my skillet heating up on medium. So we're just going to give this a, let it get good and brown. I'm going to use a second piece. So this really ought to make more than four meals for us. But anyway, what I'm going to do not putting any vegetables or anything in here, but I am going to have some gravy. And so that way we can make uh, some sliced barbecue by just putting barbecue sauce on it when we have it and uh, make it with gravy and, you know, just for a meal. And so what I'm going to do is freeze it in little freezer bags with the gravy or if it's going to be barbecue with the barbecue sauce. Then we'll just take it out and we'll pop it in the microwave and thaw it out. And mainly, I want to be able to take one of these packets up to Mountain Rest when we go up there. And that way I don't have to have the oven on because the oven up there is a gas and it really heats up that little small travel trailer. So we want to avoid that. All right, so we're going to put that one in and give it a let it get good and brown. And I'm going to go ahead and put extra flour on it because that's what's going to make the gravy. So I'm just putting extra flour on the top of it. Alright, so now I can just throw my mess away. Alright, so I gotta wash my hands. Let's see if I can use a paper towel. Alright, we'll be back and just when this gets good and brown. Okay, so we've got our pork tenderloins all browned, and they had a coating of flour on them. And I put a little extra flour in there so it would make some good gravy. So now I'm going to add some seasoning, not much, but a little bit. So I'm going to add a little bit of garlic powder just right on top, because I don't want the garlic powder, obviously, to burn in the skillet. And I'm going to also use some Old Bay seasoning. Not much of any of it, but just a little bit. Right on top. Alright. Now we're just going to add two cups of water. And then we're going to put the lid on it and put it in the oven. put the lid on it and now it goes in the oven for an hour maybe an hour and a half 
because I'm working in the garden and I want it done when I get back in. Now, um, after we have our meal and everything, I'll show you how I'm going to divide all this up uh, to make more servings. All right, so we'll be back later. Okay, the pork is all done. It really only had to cook a little over an hour. And there it is. I think that's a complete uh, pork loin, just cut in half is what I think. But we're going to have a, a serving of it today, uh, and I'm going to freeze the rest, and I will show you what I'm going to do with that. But right now, we want to fix enough for our meal today. So, I'm going to find my scissors. And I'm going to go ahead and cut us off, you know, a, a good sized piece. Let's see, let me cut this one. super tender. All right, so now what we're going to do is dip some of this gravy into a skillet. That ought to be about enough. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and turn that burner up on high. Put some dill weed in it. It's going to give us more of a German pork type entree. So I'm just about out of dill, but I like a lot of dill. Alright, so I'm going to add a little salt to it and just a touch of garlic. I mean, just a bare little sprinkle like that. Let this come to a boil, and we're going to let it uh, reduce down a little bit. All right, so we'll be back. Okay, so I've been reducing the uh, gravy down a bit, so it's a little thicker, and I've also been dipping it over these little, uh, really, what they're like is uh, pork, uh, not pork medallions, but I would call them uh, like pork fillets because it's the uh, tenderloin. All right, I'm going to go ahead and dish this up on a plate and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, I've got the meal all dished up. Now, Mr. Bucky's not here right now, but he'll be back probably in another hour, so I'm going to dish him up a plate, but right now I'm going to go ahead and eat. So I've got some spiced red cabbage, and of course I had to have some collards, and both of these were from the freezer. German small little uh, dumplings and there's my little fillet of pork and I think you can see the little dill on it. Yeah, I love this type gravy. Alright, so there it is. I think that's a German meal. Alright, we will see y'all next time. Okay, we have already had our lunch and used some of the uh, pork tenderloin. So now I'm going to, uh, I've divided it up into three sections. And what I'm going to do is take each section, put it in one of my little bowls, just like that. This one had to end, I kind of cut that off up there. All right, so now. What I'm going to do is strain this gravy. So, to do that, I'm going to need a little bowl. And a little strainer. Pour this gravy right over the pork. There we have it. Now, what I do is just put some saran wrap over each bowl 
and go ahead and put it in the big freezer to freeze it. So then what I can do is have like pork with uh, rice or something for one meal. I can turn some of it into barbecue, which I probably will do. And some of it I could put some more dill in it and have it in, in a German type uh, dish. So anyway, this roast turned out to be $1.56 per serving. So I thought that was pretty good. So anyway, so there you have it. That's how I do a pork tenderloin when I've got a really, really big one. And it works out really super convenient. So what we'll probably do is take at least one of these up to Mountain Rest with us. So one day I won't have to cook any kind of meat or anything. And we'll just have, uh, you know, two or three uh, servings of vegetables with that and maybe some bread. And we've got our meal. Just very convenient. And also, I think, very frugal. All right. See you all next time. Okay, we're not going away. <laughs> all right, I missed the whole button. All right, now we'll see you all next time.